Hi, I thought I'd share a short video of how I deal with water spots in images uh, when it's raining in bad weather and you get some water landing on your lens or on your filter and what you do to take that out um, so it's not visible in the final image. Number one, I suppose, would be to say um, remove the problem before you even take the photograph. So using a lens cloth, make sure that your lens and filters are nice and clean. The lens cloth that I like to use is one of these things, a matte and magic cleaner. I've tried lots of different lens cloths. This one, I've literally got dozens of now, seems to do the job of soaking up that moisture and not smearing it around a lot better than other ones. So um, I highly recommend um, this particular lens cloth. Um, so in bad weather, just before you're about to take the shot, um, give your let have a look at the front of your lens, give it a wipe with the lens cloth and give the camera a few seconds to settle down, let the vibrations die down and then take your shot and a lot of the time that's all that you need to do. But when you're in really bad weather, by the time that you've wiped your lens and uh, about to take the shot, you've probably got as many water spots back on your photograph as, uh, as you've just wiped off. So it can be an incredibly frustra frustrating experience of just wiping and wiping and wiping without being able to take any clear shots. Um, so if you can't get rid of the water spots when you're making the shot, then the solution is to um, fix them when you get home in uh, post-processing. So using Lightroom and or Photoshop to um, remove those water spots. So let me show you an example of a image I shot a few weeks ago at Greenpoint in Angari, just down the road from where I live here in Yamba. Um, great conditions, lots of stormy, uh, lots of stormy weather. Um, there's a east coast low, so there's lots of um, big waves and uh, lots of rain coming through. In between the rain, there were some nice, there's some nice light. So in this particular shot, there's a rainbow um, just ahead of this other squall that you can see appearing, uh, coming towards me along the coast. So I'm basically shooting into the wind with the squall coming towards me. So basically the um, the rain is coming straight at my lens, and there's nothing I can I can really do to to stop it. I can keep wiping all I want, but by the time I'm ready to take the shot, I've got a few more water drops on my, my lens. So you can see there's one here, there's one up in this top right hand corner, and there's a pretty significant one here as well. Um, so those are kind of like the three problematic spots. Um, one thing you can do is you can take multiple frames, uh, same composition, just take multiple photographs at the same time and see if you get lucky with one that doesn't have spots. So look at the next one. That's got spots down here, um, up here, around here. This next one, obviously, I'm about to get really wet because the rain looks heavier and there's spots all over this particular image. Um, so you can see we don't have, in this three shot sequence, we don't have a clear shot with no water drops. So Let's go ahead and try fixing them. So if we're in Lightroom, we can go into the Develop module. These spots up here in the sky or where you've got some, um, dust or, or water spots or whatever on our relatively clear background, a black background with, without too much detail, you can fix those up pretty easily um, just by using the um, dust spot removal tool. So press Q or press this little icon here. Um, and I'll just resize the cursor just so that it covers that spot with a little bit of feathering so that it blends in nicely and we'll click that and just hide it and you can see that's done a pretty good job of removing that offending water spot. So that's a nice easy example up in the sky so that, that's all good. Um, the problem comes when we're looking at these ones down here, particularly I would say this one where it's jutting right up, it's obscuring details. Um, so basically we don't have anything really to work with. We can try using the um, the dust removal tool and we can click that and see what it it makes of it. And you can see it doesn't do a very good job there. Uh, press the slash key and um, see if we can get it to resample. And you can see 
is just making a very bad job of this because there isn't really anything that you can sample from that's going to give a, a good result. Um, even if you get the horizon looking okay, the um, the rocks clearly don't fit um, and there's obviously a, an anomaly in this picture. Um, so we can't really use a dust removal tool in Lightroom for these particular issues so I'm just going to delete that one. Um, this one you could probably get a passable result. I mean that uh, this magnification doesn't look too bad so you can um, you can have a look at that and see if it works to your satisfaction. Play around with feathering and things like that to try and get that um, quite nice but I'm just going to remove it for now and show you what um, I'd rather do. Um, if we look at one of the if we look at the next image in the sequence, you can see where we had the problem spot around here and around here. We don't actually have any water spots in this frame. So what we can do is we can combine these two frames together, sampling these two different areas um, to basically create a, a, a spot free image. Um, I also prefer the waves in this one that are coming in lashing over the top of these rocks where they're kind of, it's a bit flatter in. Uh, not as stormy looking here, so um, I prefer these rocks anyway. So what we can do, I've already done this, but for demonstration purposes, when you're in Lightroom, one of its great features is being able to copy all the settings they've made on one photograph to the other one. So Control Command Shift C copy, Command Shift V will paste those settings. Um, as I say, I've already made the change. You can see how that. The dust spot up here. Um, there's a, there is actually a, a bit of a spot there. I'll paste those settings in. Um, the reason I want to do that is I want the two frames to be processed identically before and look pretty much the same before I make any further changes in Photoshop. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take those two images into Photoshop. And so, to do that, um, we're going to select the two that we want. We're going to go to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. And that's going to pop up Photoshop with for us with these two images in the same file, one on top of the other one in separate layers. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically show the bits of each image that we want to keep in the, the final frame. So when Photoshop finally decides to get itself into gear, we'll have one image and in a second we'll have the other image there we go so here we have one file with two layers one layer two layers um, with the the images that we just brought through from Lightroom and um, we can click these little eye icons and we can see which in uh, it, will, it will display or hide and um, that layer so if we just show this bottom layer we can see the version that doesn't have that has no water spots here and here. This top layer um, looks good elsewhere, but this water spot here and that water spot there um, are the problems. If you quickly toggle the visibility, you can also see that the frames aren't quite aligned. Um, obviously, from one shot to the next, and probably whilst in the process of wiping my lens, I've obviously nudged the camera or the tripod slightly to the side. Um, what I'm going to do is select these two layers and we're going to go up to edit auto align layers and we'll just leave that on auto and just hit OK and what that'll do is it will line those up nicely for us so there's no movement from one frame to the next so I can switch the visibility of one frame on and off and the only thing that's really moving is the water spots the sky and the sea, the, the lands are not going anywhere because Photoshop's lining those up for us. So now it's a relatively simple matter of just fixing up those water spots. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask, um, which will be all white to start with, which will basically still show all of this top layer at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint on it with a brush in black where we want this underlying layer to show through. So basically where this water spot is, 
and as I said I quite like those waves so I'm just going to bring that whole section in and then that spot there dead simple we've now got rid of our water spots in just a couple of clicks um, and that is pretty much that so now that we've done that um, we could make further changes in in uh, Photoshop here but that's not really the purpose of this uh, little video I just want to show you how you can quickly fix up those spots um, so I'm going to close that and go back to Lightroom And here's our edited file. So, water spots, water spots, no water spots. Um, and just to kind of conclude the video, here's one version of the uh, the final image without those those water spots. Um, darker sky and a little bit more contrast, removing some of that haze that was probably also apparent from um, some water and condensation on the filters. So, there you go. That's how to edit. Uh, out water spots in your final image. I hope you find that useful.